Yeah, so guys, so we left the uh, we left the Nuremberg Palace of Justice, and we've come to the uh, Documentation Center Museum. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna go in and check that out. We actually we, we we found a heck of a deal for those of you who are traveling. There's something called the Nuremberg City Card, which um, it's 28 euros a piece, but it gets you for two days. It gets you into all the uh, all the museums in Nuremberg and you get to ride all the public transportation you want for two days so like we've done the toy museum and the Nuremberg Palace of Justice we're now going to the documentation center and it's one price for all the public transportation you want to ride and all the museums you want to go to there's like 40 some museums and and centers uh, uh, that you can visit with this card so a good tip for for those of you visiting Nuremberg and uh, so let's go inside and check out the documentation center yeah guys so we're First room in the documentation center building and actually let me take a look out here because this building is uh, this building has a very old look to it I know uh, I know uh, I know this look is uh, it's now in vogue for all the uh, all the uh, uppity places in uh, in the US but trust me when I tell you you can see the concrete that's broken there and the pillars and the, and the steel beams and whatnot. My guess is that the original building, which is built out of this brick right here, my guess is the uh, original building was probably damaged during the war, and so they kind of built this museum uh, around it here. Um, so let's go, let's go take a walk through and see what we can see. Yeah, so all the, uh, all the posters are in German, but you can, uh, you can tell that's Adolf Hitler there in front of the uh, in front of the uh, Nazi party rally tram there. And here on the floor we've got some uh, probably some World War One relics. room that I, I chose not to film it didn't uh, um, and they had a, they had a picture of the of the artists making the bust behind it um, and I didn't feel comfortable it just seemed too too prideful for me so uh, so I didn't show you that but you can also see here you can also see that here at the uh, at the documentation center crazy stuff yeah, and these are the, uh, this is kind of, yeah, a map showing the system of concentration camps here. You can kind of see it, uh, see it on the ground here. Hopefully it's not lit very well. Hopefully it comes through, but some of, uh, some of the, some of the ones that will catch your eye are Auschwitz and Auschwitz Birkenau, Treblinka, Sobibor. Yeah, guys, and in the next, in the next exhibit, they talk about the start of the uh, of the Holocaust. There's actually there's actually four uh, four additional pictures to my left. But I'm not going to show you those because they show people being executed, and I don't I don't feel comfortable showing that. So uh, 
really, uh, really moving and really grit, get your attention real fast if, uh, if the site's up to this point and didn't have it already. Yeah, guys, so we just came through the corridor and on the right and left, they, uh, I'm not going to film it for you again on those on either side there. It shows um, a bunch of victims from the concentration camps and in the next two rooms it actually shows uh, shows the battle for Berlin with a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, soldiers that have been killed. So uh, very moving, uh, very poignant and moving pictures. And then here it shows the uh, the liberation of of Germany and a mural of the uh, uh, of one of the cities. And then on this wall over here, they actually show the the Nuremberg trials, which is where we were where we were this morning. You can see that picture there of the trial going on. So we're now at the end of the war. You can see a picture of Rudolf Hess there consulting. And uh, this is a picture probably from an Allied bomber towards the end of the war. So pretty, uh, pretty insane sights here today in, uh, in the Nazi documentation center in Nuremberg. Yeah guys, and in the next room they have an observation deck so you can actually come out into the grounds and take a look at the building as it exists today uh, in the middle courtyard here. This is where the rally would have taken place. One of the many rallies would have taken place. And it's pretty, it's a pretty crazy sight to see, to see here today. Yeah guys, so uh, just inside the uh, observation deck, they have uh, this is the installation of the railroad track at uh, Auschwitz Birkenau, and in the uh, in the bedding of the railroad track, you can see their their, their placards of of all the people that were murdered um, uh, during the war. Uh, very very eerie, very eye-catching, very somber, very emotional sight. Yeah, so that's going to do it from the documentation center. I think next we're either going to go to uh, go to the uh, there's an auto museum that we've been wanting to go to, which would be a little bit uh, a little bit happier than than this trip has been. And then ultimately we're going to end up at the Christmas market. So we'll see you in a minute.